asking, like, how does life change? How do you start following? I'm just going to share this in the second session, but I'll share it right now. You follow God and you glorify God in the next hour. And in the next hour. And in the next hour. And soon it's been a day. And then the next day. And then the next day. And soon it's been a week. And then it's been a month. And then it's been years that you've been walking with God because you just followed him one step at a time. And you stopped and you said, God, what would glorify you if I did this or if I did this? If I lay in my bed with, my, with the covers over my head or if I went out for a walk? If I read my Bible or if I watched Netflix? What would glorify you more? I'm not being legalistic. I'm just saying it's a good way to live. It changes your perspective. And it pays off because it, it, it renews the mind. I mean, of course it does because God said it does, but we don't believe him when he said that. But God's word renews the mind. Knowing God changes us. It changes our behaviors and our attitudes and our motivations and our affections. A lot of people don't have a mental disorder. They have a worship disorder. Now, I'm not against medical helps. That is not what I'm saying. But all the medical community knows to do is to shove a pill because they don't have the truth. They don't have the life. They don't have the way. He is Jesus. It is the gospel. The gospel belongs in the counseling room. The attributes of God belongs in the counseling room. The whole counsel of God belongs in the counseling room. I've seen it change lives. 